As a child, you can't grasp it. You're born with a hole in your heart. Something stubbed out, but you don't have the words to grasp what was there. The first time you see a picture, it will wedge into the hole and twist, lodging into a place so deep you didn't even know it was there. We commemorate in recognition of a loss, to appreciate and celebrate to reflect on the things in the world that need to change. A blue and white floral dress. The kind of dress you might see on Etsy. It belonged to Helen, a Holocaust survivor who came to Manchester in 1946. She wore me to England and nobody asked. Where did the button go? Maybe if they looked at her chest they would feel unclean. Nobody wanted to know where she'd been. Nobody offered a needle and thread or so much as a spare button to replace the one that she'd lost. A teddy bear, arms raised, like a hug or a surrender. Brought to Manchester by Leo Marcus, whose son had not survived the Holocaust. A bear is not a son. You can hold it and it can reach up to you with a lopsided smile but it won't tell you it loves you, and you'll never hear it laugh. A bear is not a boy. You can take it out to play, but it will never race you to the finish line. It won't fall and scrape its knee. A bear is not a child. You won't see it grow. You'll just see it wear. It's only a bear. Loss is more than just a four letter word. Six million is more than a statistic and a number. Comprehension is an unfathomable term when it comes to six million. Losing one person can make or break an individual. All six million had a story, a message, a uniqueness. Don't sell yourself short. Differences and diversity does not make you less than. Let your story be heard. Let your legacy make an impact. And if not for yourself, for the six million stories lost. The teddy bear, a symbol of innocence. A teddy bear that carried the youthful hope of someone who had seen more hate than love. But love is shown through all sorts. This teddy bear, though somewhat undesirable, is all the love necessary to combat the hate. Prejudice is a horse, thundering th around the racetrack, blinkered, acidic, Sour, sharp like a blade. Prejudice is a crowd, shouting. A pile of bodies you're suddenly underneath. A fence you're now behind. We commemorate a recognition of a loss, to appreciate and celebrate, to reflect on the things in the world that need to change. We commemorate because it happened, so it doesn't happen again.